This video tutorial is on the features and functionality of the league pool for football. When I log in, I'm going to click on the navigation button in the upper left hand corner, click on my video, and by default it shows me my games. I will click on the league pool and I can see each week that games have been uploaded to the league pool. And it'll tell me how many games. In a perfect world, everyone will upload their game. And so there should be two game films for every game. I understand that sometimes things happen and uh, technology doesn't always work the way we're supposed to. So if you don't have a game to upload that night and your opponent is going to upload it to the league pool, you're going to click on the chat button right here and send a message to the league administrator and let them know that you don't have a game to upload and why. Other features that are available. We're going to go to the 22-23 season. Instead of searching each week, you're going to click in that search bar and type in the name of the team that you're looking for. So if it's your upcoming opponent and I type in their name, it'll automatically filter on the games that are available for you for your upcoming opponent. I have one of two ways to download these games. I can do it one at a time by clicking the download arrow or I can go over here to this download arrow, click it, select as many games as I want and then go back up to that check mark and it's going to allow me to upload or I'm sorry download as many games as I want and it will all be in one email. So if it's week six and I've got five games on my opponent, I don't want to get five separate downloaded emails. I want all five of those links to be in one email. That's when you'll use this feature right here. You'll notice that there's a green icon of a camera before the team. So this would happen to be Riverdell's video if it were uh, the Bergenfield's game, that green icon would be at the end of Bergenfield High School. And so that little icon will indicate to you whose film that is. And like I said, in a perfect world, there would be two game films for every game. When there isn't any game film uploaded yet, you'll notice it will be red. And it won't turn green until the game film is uploaded. Um, if you want to add a game to the league pool, go over to your games folder, find that game that you want to upload, and if it happens to be this game right here, I click the gear icon, add to league pool. This one has multiple angles, and so I could click on wide, end zone, or tight, or just leave the wide angle, and hit submit. If I don't want that game to be uploaded, I can go back to that and click Remove from the League Pool. There's no need to move Game Film into your Quick Cut account because you can create your cutups, your offensive playlist, your defensive playlist, and whatever cutup you want. You can leave it in the League Pool and only you and your coaching staff and athletes can see that. And so there's no reason to clog up your own account. You can leave it all here in the league pool. So you can draw on the video with the telestrations, create those cutups, and no one can see that in the league pool except for your, your team, your coaching staff, and your athletes. If you have bad video that's been uploaded, I go to the league pool, and I'm going to go in the 22-23 season again, and I'm trying to watch this game, but it's horrible. I'm going to click the gear icon and I'm going to rate that video the one to five stars. And your league administrators will get an email letting them know that the game film that was uploaded by this team is bad video, unwatchable. Those are the features of our league pool. Our league pool does not close down. Um, and so it's available to you 24 seven all season long. Um, there will be penalties in, uh, enforced by the league if you're uploading late and if you're uploading bad video.